I am so glad I made the decision to decorate early for fall. This is my favorite year yet as far as my actual fall decor goes. I cannot wait to share it with y'all. We're gonna decorate my dining room and my foyer. And then also stay tuned because in this video, I'm gonna share the most perfect easy casserole. You're gonna wanna put this one into your rotation. But first, go ahead and grab that coffee and let's get decorating. So first, starting in my foyer, I wanted to use this chalkboard that I already had, and I just went on Pinterest and looked up fall chalkboard designs, and I did my best, and I think it came out pretty cute. And then down here to this little opening in my table, I just added a simple fall garland with some amber-colored fairy lights. Another thing I know I wanna have in my foyer is my pumpkin waffles candle. It's the great value kind. This is the best candle, the best fall candle. It is less than $5 and you find them in the aisle of Walmart where like all your Febreze and like your little Glade candles in the grocery store part, not where the other candles are in the home section. You have to go over there and find these, but they're the best. They smell identical to the pumpkin pecan waffles from Bath & Body Works, and they're amazing. I picked up three of them, I was able to find them, so I wanna place this in my foyer where everybody can smell it when you walk in. The only thing I don't love about this is the bright orange color, um, especially with all of my neutral fall decor, but I'm gonna show y'all how we're gonna kinda decorate that. So to start my little vignette here for my candle, I'm gonna add this black tray. I like how it pulls from the same color black as the chalkboard up there, and I'm just gonna put it right in the center. So I wanna place something else on that side. So next, to kind of elevate that candle, I just have this little, it's a riser, but it's part of a cloche, and I'm just gonna set that in there. All right, so y'all know how I love to take a good little wreath or candle ring and pop around a candle, just to kind of add that contrast of colors and give it a little something. And so I could place my candle in there, and that would be cute, it honestly is. I do like the orange, but it's just not quite the look I'm going for. So I scoured my whole house, y'all, to find something that would work so I wouldn't have to go buy anything new. Finally, to my rescue on my back porch, I found this. It has a little glass globe in it normally, but I'm like, how perfect is that gonna be to set my little three wick candle in? So I'm gonna place that in the center put that in there, and now you can still see the orange a little bit, but it's a whole lot more neutral. Actually, y'all, I changed my mind. I think this is gonna look better, and all I'm gonna do is scoot this over a little bit to this side, and then I'm gonna place my lamp actually on my tray. To me, it just makes it feel neater and, I don't know, more thought out or something. So I'm just gonna angle it over there. And that already looks so cute, but now let's decorate this side. So to give this side a little bit of height, I just have my little lantern. I'm sure y'all seen this before. And all I did was place a copper pumpkin inside there. And I'm just gonna set it right over on this corner. Then next, I have one of those amber jars that came from Hobby Lobby. I'm pretty sure they still have them this year. And I just placed one little sprig of this fall um, floral, whatever you wanna call it, in there. And I think that looks super cute and simple. So I'm just gonna add that beside it. And then also down front, I have this little gold pumpkin. I'm gonna add it right here to the corner just to kinda create that little grouping of three right there. And I think this is so cute. Let me show y'all. I just love how simple it looks, but it's so cozy right here when you walk in the front door. I could not be any happier with how that little Kindle turned out. I love that black tray against the chalkboard back here. And then I love the simplicity and the warmth that this little garland gives down here with those berries and little brown fairy lights. I just think it's the perfect fall for your table. 
Now let's go decorate the dining room. And I want to decorate this little sideboard table over here. This mirror has been here, but I actually brought back these lamps. These were in our room, but I just, I love the way they look. It warms up the space for fall. And I wanted something a little bit more substantial on this table. So I brought them in here, but now let's fill in all this space. So of course we're gonna start with a basket. I'm gonna put it over to the side just a little bit. And that way it'll give us a space to work in. Next, I'm gonna bring over another one of those large amber bottles. And I have these little, I don't know what these are. If they're eucalyptus, they kind of look like eucalyptus, but they also remind me of burnt potato chips. But anyway, I just love how wispy they are for fall. I love the orange color that they add. So we're gonna add that to our basket. And I love the space that they take up. I don't know if I said, but they came from Hobby Lobby. And then beside that, I'm gonna add another amber jar and we're gonna add something different to that one. So I found these little wheat um, stems last year actually from Walmart. So I'm gonna finally pull the tags off of those a year later. And I wouldn't even bother if my vases were not see-through. But let's take those off and let's pop those in beside this one. I'm not sure if Walmart still sells these, but I actually really like them because they have some little green pieces in there. It makes it look super realistic. And then down here to the bottom, I just have this little metal riser, or I don't know what you call it, cupcake stand. I'm gonna sit that there with this white ceramic pumpkin. I have no idea where it came from. I've had it forever. So now we have our grouping of three, and that is so cute. Now let's just add something simple over here. I'm just gonna bring over two, two kind of grayish, brownish, brownish gray candlesticks. And on top of them, I just have some Dollar Tree velvet white pumpkins. And we're just gonna place those on top there. And I just think that is super cute, super simple, but kind of classic, classic fall, definitely cozy. Now let's work on the table. So we actually moved this table in here. I don't know if I've showed you guys this yet, but this was our homeschool table and then I used it for my office table when we moved here. But anyway, since we moved our dining table into the breakfast room, I really wanted to paint this. I think I'm gonna chalk paint it white and paint my chairs black. But for now, it's just this color. It's not my favorite, but we're just gonna work with it. So first, I'm just gonna place this velvet orange beautiful warm and cozy table runner right down the center but i love the centerpiece we're about to add so one thing i did pick up this year was this beautiful it's kind of like a throw i think they called it a blanket but it came from the target dollar spot i think it was three dollars maybe five but let me show you how we're going to use this so basically i'm going to kind of use it as a table runner as well to kind of give us that layered effect, but I'm not gonna lay it straight across. I want it to kind of look like it's just thrown on here, giving off those cozy, like cuddle vibes. So I'm trying to find my two corners. I want one corner going this way and one corner kind of going off the opposite direction. And then in the middle, I'm just gonna kind of scrunch it up to give it that blanket look. Y'all stick with me, I promise this is gonna be so cute. So next, I'm just gonna place this wicker basket right in the center it's going to kind of mimic that other basket we have back here and now i can kind of play with that blanket a little bit as well and kind of just scrunch up around the basket i would really love a big dough bowl to go right here but i don't have one so again just using what i have i think this will give us the same effect that i'm going for so next i just have this little wheat wreath here and i'm just going to place it in the basket to give us some good old fall texture. And then same thing with this one. This is just more of a green. It does have some oranges and yellows in there. I'm gonna place it right on top of this one. It's a little bit smaller, and I'll show y'all the close-up here in just a second. Next, I just have one white pumpkin. I'm gonna kind of nestle that right on top of those wreaths. And now for the finishing touch, I just have some orange pit berry. I'm not even sure if y'all can see it, but I'll show you up close in a second. And I'm just gonna kind of wrap it around this whole thing. I'm gonna weave it in with the wreaths a little bit. It just kind of adds another little texture to it. I just like how it looks. 
I'm gonna wrap it around the pumpkin a little bit. And y'all, I think that is so cute. Let me show you up close. So here it is up close. I just think it is simple and clean. Yeah, definitely cozy that I'm going for. I would love if this table was white, but for now, I think it works. And I also love how it looks with the table back there with those baskets and the colors that we have going on. I think it all looks really, really good together. Y'all let me know what y'all think. If anything jumps out at you that you would change, y'all let me know. But here is kind of an overview of the dining room so far. I love the colors in here. It feels warm and cozy and I like it pretty good, especially for using just the things that I have. Also, does anybody know what those are? Those are my 100K balloons. <laughs> Darren surprised me with last Friday. Some of y'all noticed and some of y'all commented that I did finally hit 100K here on my channel. And so Darren took me out to eat Friday night to my favorite place. And when I walked back in the door, he had these balloons and y'all, he had them tied to random little candlesticks a pumpkin he moved my fall decor and tied those balloons to them so i was so excited though it was so sweet but yes finally hit 100k so i wanted to mention that in today's video thank y'all so much i do not take a single one of y'all for granted and the time that you spend with me here on my channel i love y'all so much and just just thank you it has been a long wild crazy journey that i don't plan on stopping anytime soon and by the way i have not forgotten about the giveaway that i talked about i'm still deciding exactly what to do but don't worry it's coming in the next couple weeks so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that but yes 100k balloons i honestly can't believe it finally happened so to start it says to take one stick of butter and melt it in your 9 by 13 while your oven is preheating I actually already preheated my oven and this is not quite a whole stick of butter so I'm just gonna kind of chop it up a little bit and put it into the oven just for a few minutes I'll keep an eye on it until it melts okay while my butter is finishing melting i'm just making up my chicken broth here for the recipe and i wanted to show y'all this i'm sure a lot of y'all probably buy it and my label is a little bit torn it is called better than bouillon and i've just started keeping this in my fridge instead of buying cartons of chicken broth or even the chicken bouillon this is less than five dollars and it has how many servings it has 38 servings which is equal to 38 cups of chicken broth and to me the flavor is a little bit deeper so it just kind of adds a little bit more to any recipe that calls for chicken broth and like i said they have it in chicken they have beef and a vegetable one and maybe one more so i've just started keeping these and all you do is mix one teaspoon of the base with how many of our cups of water. So two cups of water, and now I have chicken broth. And it also just takes up a whole lot less room in your fridge. All right, so my butter is melted. Now I just have about three cups of pre-cooked chicken. I just boiled mine up earlier and then just shredded it up. And you're just gonna place that right on top of the butter in your dish. And of course, this is a great recipe to use up a rotisserie chicken, leftover chicken. You could even use canned chicken for this. Next, the recipe calls for chopped onion, chopped green pepper, and chopped red pepper. That would be delicious, but I looked at some of the comments and a lot of people on that recipe said they used frozen veggies, think like chicken pot pie. So I thought I would try that as well. We really like chicken pot pie and this is easy. You don't have to chop anything. So I just have about a cup of frozen peas and carrots. I'm just gonna dump those right on top of my chicken. Then next, we're gonna add one teaspoon of poultry seasoning. And I only probably have not quite a teaspoon left, so I'm just gonna sprinkle on what I do have left. And I use poultry seasoning in my chicken pot pie anyway, so when I saw this recipe, I just thought it would be really good with the peas and carrots. And like I said, it makes it a little easier. We're also gonna add just a sprinkle of black pepper. Next to a medium sized bowl, we're gonna add two cups of Bisquick. And next to our Bisquick, we're gonna add two cups of milk. Gonna add a pinch of salt, and then we're just gonna whisk this together. 
and this is gonna make part of our topping, which is gonna actually be like a dumpling topping. Now we're just gonna pour that Bisquick mixture right over top of our veggies and chicken. And then lastly, we're gonna take that chicken stock, that chicken broth that we made, and we're just gonna mix that together with one can of cream of chicken soup. Now we're just gonna bring that over and we're gonna dump that right on top as well. And this is gonna bake at 350 for one hour. It will look pretty liquidy at this point, but don't worry because it's all gonna come together and it's gonna make the most perfect little dumpling topping. Think chicken and dumpling meets chicken pot pie. All right, so let's get this into the oven and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. I have to tell you, this was delicious. That buttery crust on top, it kind of got a little bit crispy and fluffy at the same time, if that makes sense. It was so good, the most perfect flavors. This would be good served with rice or mashed potatoes, or like the recipe recommends, just a big salad on the side. You really can't go wrong with this one. Does that not look delicious or what? Perfect for a fall weeknight. Thank y'all for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed decorating along with me. Like I said, I'm just really loving how it all turned out. I'm so glad that I decorated early. Also, I hope you give this recipe a try. But thank you so much. Thank you for 100K. I love you guys, and I'll see y'all real soon in my next video. Bye, y'all.